Welcome, let's discuss the tangent ratio. We can think of tangent as a function, which we write as TAN. The input of this function, it's always an angle. And the symbol that we have for angle is what we call a theta, which is a circle with a small line going through it. So in terms of our function, their input always goes inside the parentheses. So let's place that in there. And whenever we plug in an angle into this function, we're going to get an output. And the output, it's a ratio of the sides of the right triangle. And the ratio, it's of the form of opposite over adjacent. Whenever we look at the tangent function and we plug in an angle, it's going to look into our right triangle and it's going to find the value of the opposite. And then it's going to divide it by the value of the adjacent. And this is what we define as the tangent ratio. Let's illustrate this idea. Let's choose A to be our reference angle. Let's label our triangle according to this angle. Hypotenuse is in front of the angle that is 90 degrees. Our opposite is the angle opposite of a reference angle. And our adjacent is the side that is next to the reference angle. And based on this labeling, we can find the tangent of A. If we look at our function of tangent, which we write as TAN, the input, let's plug in the angle of A. Because remember that the input is always an angle. And as an output, we need to find the value of the opposite and we need to find the value of the adjacent. Within this triangle, our opposite is the line segment BC. That is the numerator of our ratio. And the adjacent is our side of AB. That is the denominator of our ratio. Given this function, we plug in our angle of A and what it did, it looked at the opposite and we place it as a numerator and we find the adjacent and it place it as a denominator. Now let's change our angle of reference. Let's make C our angle of reference. Now let's label our triangle opposite of 90 degrees as a hypotenuse. The side that is opposite to the angle of reference, that's our opposite. And the side that is next to our angle, that's our adjacent. So if we look at our tangent function, and now we plug in a different angle, if we plug in our angle of reference, which in this case, we're looking at C. From the perspective of angle C, our opposite is the line segment of AB. That's going to be our numerator for our ratio. And our adjacent is the line segment BC that's going to be the denominator of our ratio. So we have defined the tangent of angle C. Notice that the ratio changes depending on what's the angle that we plug in to the tangent function. Let's look at some examples. Let's find the value for each of the following tangent ratios. Under example A, we want to find the tangent of A. So based on what we are plugging in to our function, we can say that this is our reference angle. Let's label our triangle using A as my reference angle, opposite of 90 degrees, that's a hypotenuse. Opposite of our reference angle, that's the opposite side. And the side that is next to our angle, that's our adjacent. So now we have all the information that is needed, because now we can say that the tangent of A it is equal to the opposite, which we have it as BC, which has a value of 16, divided by the adjacent, which in this case, it is the line segment AB, which has a length of 30. In our second example, that is a typo. Let's change it to tangent of C. We want to consider C to be our reference angle. Let's label our triangle using this reference angle. Opposite of 90 degrees, that's a hypotenuse. Opposite of our reference angle, that is the opposite side. And the side next to our reference angle, 
that is our adjacent. Now that we have labeled our triangle, let's find the tangent of C. Remember that tangent is opposite over adjacent. And in this example, our opposite has a length of 21 and our adjacent has a length of 28. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.